yesterday, I believe, was the WMB, or no, WMB, I think it's WBD, rather, the Warner Brother Discovery Upfronts. And last year, they were expecting some sort of announcement regarding AEW and their rights updates and stuff like that. That was a year ago. People expecting something similar this year, at this year's installment of the uh, Warner Brothers Discovery Upfronts. And again, another year, ago, another year goes by without a peep about AEW. Now, I don't really buy too much into it as far as that being a negative sign for the company, but it's been over a year now, and we still do not have an update as far as them re-signing with Warner, what their future with the company holds. Although people are predicting, and I would predict something similar as well, you know, regardless of what the ratings look like, unless they're atrocious, which, I mean, they're not great for AEW, but they're not awful, I would say, by their, you know, uh, all-time standards. But aside from that, or like something else happening, bearing something like that happening, I think it's pretty safe to say, at least in my opinion, they probably are re-upping with Warner, and they probably will get some sort of an increase. Now, what kind of increase, I don't know. Um, But that's kind of the current talk around AEW right now and what that means for their future for Dynamite, Rampage, and Collision. It really is more so about Dynamite. Collision was the new thing about a year ago. That was why they uh, included... They didn't include that as part of the new rights deal because they didn't re-sign at that point. They might have just renegotiated for a year later, which is what they're currently doing. But the real money is in Dynamite, and it sounds like they probably will get an increase. But when you hear that, Mr. Marceau, as it also pertains to the NBA as well... Because I'm hearing now they they won't be re-signing with Warner. At least if it's not official, they very likely may not be. So what's your take on the situation? And you might know more about it than I do, as far as what AEW's future with Warner might be. Yeah, I think, like you said, with the upfronts, I think it's something that they do to kind of promote what's going on or what's going on coming up. Yeah. I mean, so like, so I think that's like not like a total sign, but I mean... You think if that was kind of in their future or something they're really proud of, really wanted to promote, they they would promote it coming up. Like, you know, like, we have this entity so far, like, so what's doing, we're excited, like, the relationship's great, da 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 We're looking forward to, like you said, maybe some kind of renewal that um, kind of give you some kind of aspect of that, but it seems like we got nothing there. Um, I'm hearing, like you said, I don't think they're re-signing with the NBA, NBA on TNT. Um, it sounds like they might go to NBC. Um, so still interested here in that. I know they're actually getting back into NASCAR next year. Interesting. So new, they were in NASCAR probably 10, 15 years ago, got out. And it sounds like they're, they, it's not, it sounds like that they are going back next year for five races. Um, and their five races that they're going to have is going to be like an in season tournament kind of thing for NASCAR. Um, because they usually get where the dates that they're getting are like in the middle of the year where not that there's nothing going on, but I mean, I guess there's nothing going on because the playoffs don't happen to the end of the season. So I guess they're going to have some kind of in-season tournament. All, all their, their five races will be on, I think, either True TV or TNT or Max. And it's uh, so like that their five races will mean something, I guess. And I know Dale Jr. Uh, will be commentating for them, so... I know that's what they're doing. It seems like I'm not sure exactly what else they're in their plans right now, but I know going to NASCAR is definitely uh, different from what they've done the last couple of years. Where's NASCAR currently on Fox? NBC and Fox. Okay, okay. So kind of so like WWE. Year be, yeah, so next year they'll be on Fox. Five races will be on Prime, which they've never done, obviously. Hmm. Five races will be on either TNT or True TV or Max, and then the next... 13 will be on NBC, I believe. So it'll be 13 on Fox, 5 on Prime, 5 on Turner, and then 13 on NBC. I'm just going off of what I've seen on Twitter and stuff like that, but if the NBA does leave Warner, where would they go? Like, what network do you think they would sign with, or do you think it would be like a hybrid streaming service type thing as well? I'm hearing NBC. Um, NBC had you know, NBC had basketball, I think in like the mid to late 90s, and mm-hmm. then early 2000s kind of gave it up i don't know it seems like a lot of these big networks are trying to figure out what they want to do um especially with sport rights i feel like they're huge right now i don't know if you saw yesterday netflix will be airing some nfl games next year which will be the first time ever um oh i did not see that. that's interesting yeah they're they're hosting two the two games that are on christmas next year will be exclusively on netflix um so i think that networks have to trying to figure out what they're doing because Sounds like Prime and, and 
Netflix are really starting to get into the sports world, so mm -hmm. um, maybe they're just trying to figure out what the fuck. I mean, Raw's going to Netflix, so I think they're trying to figure out what they need to do, but I don't know. It sounds like streaming's kind of starting to really creep in on network TV. And that's already been happening for a while now, right? I mean, I know, I mean, again, I'm not an avid football watcher, but I had heard games being on, like, Disney Plus and stuff like that, like you said, Prime, Peacock. So this has been something that's been going on for at least the last little while. Yeah, I know, I know, la so last year, I don't know if it was last year, or the I think it was last year, I think last year was the first year that Thursday Night Football, which used to be on, I think they switched it with Fox and NBC, similar to, like, NASCAR, I think it was, like, the first nine games were on Fox or NFL Network, and the next nine were on NBC. But last year was the first year their Thursday Night Football was only on Prime. Um, and then I think at the end of the season, maybe it was Thanksgiving or Christmas again. I yeah, I don't remember the days. But I think the last two Sunday Night Football or whatever was supposed to be in like that kind of category, those are only on Peacock. Peacock and I think exclusive. next year, like a playoff game is only on Peacock. I don't know. They are going, so they are definitely going the streaming route. But I think like the Netflix and Prime. I mean, at least Peacock's still a branch off of NBC. Obviously, Netflix and Prime are two different companies. So yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. You don't think there's a chance that going back to the AEW thing that there's a chance that they kind of go the raw route by signing with one of these streaming services by making one of the shows exclusive to like net not Netflix obviously because Raw is going to be on there, but. Something like that. I know Max is obviously a Warner property, but I think if you're going to be airing on Max, at that point you might as well just be airing on TNT. I feel like you would probably have more exposure that way. I, I don't think Dynamite is nearly established enough to go to a streaming service to where people would flock over, you know, pay $10 a month to, to watch Dynamite on Prime or whatever it might be. And I'm not even sure what service they would be able to get. Again, Max would be one thing, but at that point, why not just air it on TNT? Um, but do you think that's a possibility, or do you think that odds are they probably will just stay right where they're at right now? Yeah, I think they'll stay on television. Like I said, I think, I mean, I'm not sure exactly. Like I said, I feel like Warner Bros. Discover, they've made like a lot of different moves lately, so it's kind of interesting to see what they do next. Like I said, NBA on TNT was pretty much their biggest property they've had, and I don't even know. Like, that was like kind of their, their thing. Like, mm -hmm. they were known for the NBA, and um obviously they got hockey this year um which i think that's probably they're gonna they, they'll stick with that but i don't know like, like i said i think these networks are starting to really look at sports and seeing like what what we need to invest money and in, what we don't i know the person that like brought basically brought AEW to tnc is no longer there mm -hmm. so who knows what's going on in that aspect but no I, I think realistically if i had to say i think they stay on uh tnt or tbs but um, I think not being in the upfronts is kind of confusing from like the company should be promoting it more. If you're like, I don't know if I bought something or owned something was going to re up it. I think I'd promote like, Oh yeah. Like we're, this is what we're doing. I mean, at least I don't think it's a big deal, but I think you'd want to like shine light on it. You would think, um, especially if it's one of their top, you know, performing shows on the network and whatnot. I mean, not even money related, which I already asked you about, but if, and when the NBA does leave, I might've already been made official. I'm not, I'm not sure, but if and when it does leave, you know, TNT and TBS and stuff like that, you said that they might be bringing in or they will be bringing in NASCAR. Does that affect AEW at all? Because I know currently, at least not, not Dynamite. Dynamite used to be affected by it. They would air it sometimes. I remember that one summer a few years ago where it was on fucking Saturdays for like a month and it completely ruined the momentum of the show. Because like if you don't get into a regular rhythm of watching the show on a regular day, it really hurts the ratings long term. And it can have a great effect on like the storylines and the hype and buzz around the product and whatnot. They haven't had that issue in a while. Now, Rampage is affected almost every single week right now, as is Collision. But Dynamite has not been. If they bring in NASCAR and boot the NBA, do you think the shows, if they stay right where they are on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, respectively, will be affected at all going forward? Because I know they always used to have to accommodate the NBA stuff. Uh, I mean, NASCAR is usually during the day, so I don't think so. It's usually on the weekend, so... I don't think so. I'm not sure exactly if they're covering the Xfinity Series, which is usually on Saturday. I don't know. I know for a fact they're covering the Cup Series on Sunday, so mm -hmm. I don't think it would affect anything. Um, so I think, if anything, it would be less schedule conflicts with than what they have right now with the NBA and NHL. 
That makes sense. Yeah, I would expect the deal to be announced at some point within the next couple of months. Again, I, I think, one last thing on this, I think it would be pretty important as part of this new deal, and I'm kind of shocked it hasn't happened yet. I think it's pretty imperative that, even as someone, like, obviously, I'm biased through the Bleach Report app, even with the Bleach Report app, it's had a lot of issues for a lot of people. There's been a lot of negative buzz around AEW having their pay-per-views on that service. It just doesn't work for a lot of people. I've never had issues, but again, I'm biased. Um, at least, you know, they are, are now offering it through, like, Fight TV, which is now Trailer TV. They offer it through, I think, traditional pay-per-view and other outlets and whatnot, where you can buy the shows. But I'm pretty shocked that by this point in time, they currently do not offer the AEW pay-per-views live on Max, which they apparently do have up and running with sports. Again, I'm not overly familiar with that, but from what I know, they do have stuff already live performing on Max, and AEW pay-per-views are not one of them. You would think they would have had the AEW pay-per-views first to kind of use as a guinea pig for their other products and sports and whatnot, but that just hasn't happened yet. Um, do you think that's inevitable? At what point do you think we might see AEW pay-per-views end up there? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think if they renew, I think that would make the most sense. I know that if you, I mean... I guess if you don't have cable, um, you can watch like any game that's on TNT or TBS on Max right now for like the call for uh, the NBA or NHL playoffs. So someone said that the other day, like, oh, I don't have cable, but I have Max, and I was able to watch like the Celtics game because mm-hmm. we're on TNT. So I guess you can watch like basically live sports on Max if it's on TNT or TBS. So like I said, I think if they renew, they'll go to Max. I mean, obviously, I don't think it helped like when the AEW kind of started. Max was, I mean. I don't know if it wasn't a thing yet, but it wasn't to, like, obviously what, like, these streaming services are now with, like, live programming. So maybe when they first made the deal, Bleach Report seemed more of a made more sense, viable yeah. option. I mean, I'm not sure exactly. It wasn't like Bleach Report was really <laughs> streaming a lot either at the yeah. time. But uh, I think realistically, if they re-sign with Warner, I think going to Max would make the most sense. I think so, especially if a lot of people already have Max. I just, I mean, again, I have never had to do this because I've already had it through Bleach Report and whatnot. But people paying 50 bucks for these pay-per-views. And it's not even as if... And again, I understand the argument when you have four pay-per-views a year and they're quality shows. I can understand that. The shows are usually very well worth it. I thought Dynasty was a great show. Revolution was great. World's End. I was at that show, but not so much. Uh, not exactly a worth pay-per-view with buying, at least in my opinion. But, you know, people are paying 50 bucks for these pay-per-views. And they just announced a few weeks ago their pay-per-view schedule for the remainder of the year... In addition to Double or Nothing next weekend, they have Forbidden Door in June. In August, they have, I think, two pay-per-views, actually. No, I'm, well, technically it's September 1st, but they have All In, All Out. They have the Wrestle Dream Show and World's End again and Full Gear. So they have, like, nine total pay-per-views this year, if not ten. I think it's nine. Uh, I'm pretty sure, because they didn't have one in January, February, and they don't have one in July. So I think it's nine pay-per-views this year, which is a lot if you're paying 50 to 60 bucks for each of these events. So just doing it on Max, which a lot of people have anyway, and if you don't, you're just signing up for $10, I feel like that makes a whole lot more sense. 